summon the blood sacrifice. Let Cold Harbor remake Nern in its own image.
This is taking forever. Before? Ah, Vulkal Guard, of course. Welcome to Tanzelville. Perhaps you will get through to Her Majesty where we could not. Queen's favorite. I'm glad you're here. We came to Tanzelville to honor the spirits of our ancestors, and now they seem bloody well determined to kill us all. An excellent question, for which I have no answer. My dear sister, your queen, brought us here to perform a ceremonial ritual. It's a bit of political theatre, really. Gain the blessings of the dead and all that rubbish. If danger doesn't find her, she'll seek it out and invite it home to dinner. She's in the ruins just ahead, conspiring with the battle reeve. They're determined to complete the ceremony. Do be a loyal subject and see that she survives, won't you? I swear, it's like being home for a new life festival. The family's been drinking since noon, and everyone wants you dead. Oh, you know how it is. In the waters off the island, there are great sea beasts, Smaller creatures cling to their sides, eating the scraps they leave behind. It's just the same with nobility on land. Tradition. Whenever a new monarch takes the throne, there are endless rituals and ceremonies. I myself was more than halfway through the 88 days of liturgical chanting required to take the throne. Then my dear sister returned. Oh, yes. When our father, King Hiddelith, may he reign in glory, passed away, she was slated to begin the ceremonies. But then she left, just poof, gone, before she even entered the sappy ark's labyrinth. Just so. And so it fell to me to spend the requisite 3,555 days studying Alt Mary custom and ceremoniarchy. Oh, but I digress. We call upon our honored ancestors to pass on their memory and wisdom. Your ancestors disavow you, false one. The Veiled Queen is the rightful heir, and Norian shall My queen, end your reign. Look out! Well, that could have gone better. Maybe it's all that royal we nonsense. We call upon our ancestors. It's all rather condescending, isn't it? Don't remind me. This ceremony is supposed to show Oridon that I honor our people's culture and heritage. It's supposed to show that our ancestors see me as the rightful heir. I guess our ancestors have ideas of their own. I don't know. It mentioned Norian, my advisor. You met him in Volkelgard, I believe. My friend, something has gone wrong here. I hate to ask your aid again, but I must. There are two priestesses elsewhere in the ruins, women I trust. If Norian has turned against me, I fear for their lives. Stand with them as they perform their parts of the ceremony. Keep them safe. These ceremonies are important to my people, which makes them important to me, I guess. Continue the rituals, of course. The priestesses are waiting on me. No unquiet dead will keep me from finishing what I began here. It's as I said, the ceremonies are for the people. 
They've always been a part of crowning a new Alt Mary Monarch. The people are already nervous about my extended absence. They need to know they can trust me. I've no idea who the Veiled Queen might be. Perhaps the leader of that Veiled Heritance group? And in my estimation, Norian would sell his own mother if he thought he'd get a good price at the market. Norian was a staunch supporter of my father, and after him, Naaman's bid for rule. He was very vocal in his disappointment when I returned and took the crown. For Norion, it's all a power game, and I wasn't playing his way. Just so. I had hoped Estania led some kind of small splinter group, or gave a grandiose name to a group of thugs. If they can strike at us here through Norion, they're a viable threat. Continue the rituals, of course. The priestess... It must be Norian. Thrice damned Skiva that he is. He's also an accomplished mage. To control them so utterly, he must be nearby. I'm sure he'll show his face soon enough. Careful, don't get too close to the stone. It appears to be emanating dark necromantic energies. I'm not entirely certain, but it does look menacing, doesn't it? These stones appeared overnight, at key locations throughout the ruins. It's no coincidence that the ancestral spirits went mad that very day. I'm certain there's a connection. No, it doesn't, does it? There are dark forces at work here. I have a powerful Altmer holy symbol used for blessings at this site. I thought I might try using it on the stone, but I'm afraid I haven't the nerve. Would you be willing to try it? It worked! You've destroyed the stone! Keep it for the time being. You may need it. If any more of these stones turn up, I'll find you. In the meantime, I should inform the Queen of our progress.
Did you see her? She tried to kill me. Colin Way is an ancestral spirit that haunts this grove. She's always been a mischievous one, but I've never seen her so violent. She's lying in wait, ready to pounce as soon as I lower my defenses. I can't complete the Queen's ceremony unless you banish her from this plane. Be careful. She'll tear your throat out if you give her half the chance. Ancients bless you for your prayers.
May the ancestors bless you.
What fascinating artifacts these stones are. I wonder where they came from. Not until the last of the stones has been destroyed. Only one remains, as far as I can tell. Something's happened. The spirits appear to be growing docile again. You've done it. The madness has left them, and the ancestral spirits are at peace. I can still sense residual necromantic energy, so be careful. The stones were powerful. We may feel their influence for some time to come. My friend returns. Are the rituals completed? Are the priestesses safe? That's a relief. Thank you. Now comes the tricky bit. The final ritual must take place inside the ancestral tombs, where, I would imagine, the most powerful dead dwell. If I am to be queen, I must look fear in the face and conquer it. How can I ask my people to have faith in me if I don't have faith in myself? I was a warrior before I became queen. I can handle myself. But you're determined, and I know you're foolhardy enough. I would welcome your company. I can handle myself. I was a warrior long before I became a queen. Your Majesty, let me come with you. I should warn you, three coins say Norian is down in the crypts. Well, no. But to control these spirits so completely, he'd have to be close. The crypt is a winding complex with plenty of places for quiet spell casting. I'm prepared for anything. If he's sided with this veiled queen, he's a traitor. That means we end him here and now. Are you with me? Stay down here any longer than we have to. My sword is thirsty.
The ancestors have forsaken you, Iran. The Veiled Queen will lead us. to draw my sword again. Do you need a rest? Why struggle, Iran? This can only end one way. Ancestors guiding me.
foolish girl. I serve the veil. She is our true leader. You have betrayed your people. this ritual. May the ancestors bless us with their wisdom and protection. The ancestors honor your prayers. May the light of the eight bless you and guide you. Let your reign be long and peaceful. It's finished. Let's get out of this dark place. Follow me. You risked everything to help me. I won't forget it. You're too modest. Thank you, my brave and noble friend. Until we meet again, wherever the road may take us. Go carefully on the roads, my friend. You're a valuable resource to the Dominion. And me, of course. Of course, my friend. Our little adventure here has brought up a few questions of my own. Worried about them turning like Norian? Hmm. I don't believe so. Norian was old guard and never very fond of me. Most of the others awaiting us on the road honestly want change. Outright traitors like Norian we end, no question. The problem is that traitors like Norian are only fanning the flame. If I can't win over my people, the heretics will be dealing with me instead of the other way around. We have dozens of stops along the road, speaking at farms and holdfasts. My next big event is in Skywatch, I believe. They're throwing a festival and I'm to make a public appearance with my sister-in-law, Estri. Always thrilling. There's no love lost there, no. My brother took the news of my return fairly well, all things considered. I'm not sure his wife has it in her to be as forgiving. She wanted to be queen. 